Hello everybody, Shadow Wing here, and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we're back in good old-fashioned Pokemon Showdown, because we're doing another comparison video. Now, if you saw my first episode of our Pokemon Red Let's Play, which I will leave in a link in the down in the description, I was talking about, briefly, how I preferred Fero over the Pidgey line. And I wanted to feel like that could be a good time well, a good chance for a video to show why, by doing a comparison on the two Pokemon. Now, if you prefer the Pidgeot line or the Feral line like me, that's fine. I've got nothing against either Pokemon. I love, I love and use Pidgeot. In fact, I'll be honest, the first time I ever played Pokemon, I got a Pidgey. Because I love Pidgeotto and from the anime. I loved it. I loved the way it looked and I love how cool it was. So originally, I went with Pidgeot. But after I'd played the game a few times and had gotten more a bit more experimental than just wanting to be a clone of Ash, I decided to try Firo, and I feel like Firo and I have a stronger connection. But I'm going to show you guys why by showing some items, movesets, and their abilities and all that, and let you decide for yourself which of the two is a better Pokemon to use. Alrighty guys, here we are. We've got our Pokemon set up and ready to go. Now, I noticed, you may notice that Pid Firo has a ton of moves already on and Pidgeot has two. I'll get to that in a little bit. Now, we're going to cover Firo first, because he's my favorite, and sorry, he's my favorite, so I want to. First off, we're going to cover the moves. Now, these are the strongest moves that are stabbed or useful to Firo to use besides status infliction or things like Feather Dance, which I don't even think Firo gets, actually, now that I think about it. But anyways, the most powerful stabbed flying-type move that Firo gets is Sky Attack. Yes, I know it's sad. He doesn't get Brave Bird. I hate it, and I wish they'd change that. But, next strongest move is Giga Impact, which almost about every Pokemon can learn. I mean, honestly, it's a physical form of Hyper Beam, and I think even level 1 Pokemon can learn that. Next, we have Drill Run, which is a ground-type move, high crit ratio, high crit ratio, la 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 la. But that's obviously because he's a flying type, electric types are a big problem for him. And then Drill Pack, because it's the strongest physical flying-type move he gets besides Sky Attack and... Obviously, with Sky Attack, we're going to need Power Herb. And there are a few other item sets you can do, such as Choice Scarf or Band or... Hell, if you feel like it, you could try and do a tanky one, do Leftovers or even a Lumberry. But honestly, Firo, as you can see by these little stats right here, is not tanky at all. It's got decent health, but it's defense, special defense, just not making it a tank. Okay, that's my thing. If you find someone who can do it or you find out a way to do it, please let me know down in the comments because I would love to see it. I would love to see how I can change from just using a physically sweeping Firo to a more tanky Firo. Please let me know. You guys have been experimenting around, hopefully. But, now let's get down to stats. Like I just mentioned, defenses and special attack, I should also add on, are poor. Poor as can be. Not even without any lowering, uh, without any lowering natures, it's just poor. Now let's get to his main features, his attack and speed. I've already invested maximum attack and speed without any helpful natures, and 279 is not a bad attack range, at least for a flying type. I mean, it's a normal flying type with only two evolutions. Two, you can only expect so much. 279, not bad at all. Speed, on the other hand, is more useful. 299 is a fairly high speed for without any speed invested nature. But let's show what happens when we do add that. Let's start off with an adamant nature, and he goes at 306 attack. Which is a fairly respectable amount of attack, considering you've got high damaging moves, such as Sky Attack, which is a 140 power move, and it's Stab, which adds on to that power. Then you got things like Giga Impact, which is also Stab, because they're both normal flying types. Drill Run doesn't get any Stab, but... It's a ground type move, you're only going to use it against electric types or possibly rock types if you get stuck with one. And finally, Drill Pack, same as Sky Attack and Giga Impact, stabbed move with its decent attack, which overall makes it a good attacker. But that's it. That's the main problem I have with Firo, even though I love it. You can only use it as an attacker. Now let's move, oh yeah, before I forget, let's move on to abilities. Keen Eye, which, me, which is basically like no guard for birds, so nothing ever misses, which is very good for moves like Sky Attack, because, let's be honest guys, even though it only says 90% accuracy, you've played with moves with 80% accuracy, and they almost miss all the time, at least for me. But I know we've all done things like throw a stone edge at someone, and then it misses. We all have been there. And then we have Sniper, 
which is a relatively useful ability and increases the critical hit chances and the damage it does. But unfortunately, just with the, like I just mentioned, the accuracy itself is just a giant pain in the neck for me and I just don't feel like messing around with it. I always stick, I usually st stick with keen eye and that's it, and power her. Those are my, that's like my bread and butter with Fero. And sometimes I don't have, I have a somewhat supportive Fero. I mean, we can have things like Tailwind and Defog. You can have a supportive Fero, but a tanky Fero is just unheard of, at least to me. So, and let's get rid of Giga Impact real quick. Let's just replace this with, uh, do Drill Run. I mean, I, this is actually my no, most commonly used set for Fero. Sky Attack, Drill Run, Tailwind, Default. Because you got that stab move. If you have that one Pokemon that needs a powerful flying type move, Sky Attack will get the job done. Drill Runs for electric types and just have another move. I usually run Tailwind and Default because Stealth Rocks. Let's talk about that real quick. Both Pokemon, very big problem with them. Stealth Rocks. They absolutely hate Stealth Rocks. That's why if we can at least switch them in on the turn of Stealth Rocks, we can get rid of them. Or hopefully kill the Pokemon that's trying to keep setting up Stealth Rocks. But I think that's enough on Fear. Let's move to our buddy Pidgeot. Now, my Pidgeot's move set, you can see I have Feather Dance and Protect, and that's it. The reason why that is is because if you look at Pidgeot's stats, all around it's not that great of an attacker. Special attack, nope. Like, hold on, let me get rid of that. There we go. Special attack, not that great. Physical attack, also not that great. Its main investment points are health and speed. I mean, it's got better defensive and special attack of capabilities, but uh, it's just, it's still not that great. That's why I like to run sets with Feather Dance and Protect, and you're obviously going to need some moves that do damage, such as if you want to run a special, you can try and pull the Flinch game with Air Slash. Or Heat Wave, if you ever decide to, for some reason, take a Pidgeot to OU and face a Ferrothorn or a Scizor. Heat Wave, that surprise Heat Wave could, even without massive amounts of special investment, can do massive amounts of damage to two very incredibly tanky Pokemon. But, let's talk about abilities now. You've got Keen Eye like Fero, which means things can't miss. Tangled Feet, I honestly have no point, I see no point in using this ability. You have to be confused just to be able to use it, and then there's always the chance you just end up hitting yourself in the face when you're confused, which I don't like. I hate confusion. I hate dealing it. I don't like even using things like Confuse Ray on my team because I feel like it's just overpowered. Just confusing a Pokemon, constantly making them hit themselves in the face, I just feel like I just don't like that. That's why I stay away from Tangle Feet. Big Pecs, on the other hand, is a more useful ability that prevents defense drops. Now, if you want to want a max health, max defense Pidgeot, Big Pex is the move for you, especially if you have moves like Feather Dance that can lower attacks. Now, let's briefly talk about the reason why I feel that Pidgeot is used more than Fero. We all know this was coming. Mega Pidgeot. Of course, it finally got a Mega Evolution. It was the Star Bird in Kanto. And a lot of Kanto, as we all know, lots of Kanto Pokemon got an upgrade. Pidgeot was, not the, was no different. Now let's make a brief comparison of Fero and Mega Pidgeot without any investment at all. First off, speed 278, special attack 306. Fero at maximum attack, that's Mac Spiro's maximum potential. Whoop, I did not mean to open that, sorry about that. This, why did I click on that? Wow, I'm just messing up all sorts of stuff. That's, that's Pidgeot's base special attack. If you just have Mega Pidgeot out without any training at all, bam, 306. So... Adding this up, yep, 369, and now let's show what happens when we have a modest nature. Yeah, 405. That is almost over 100 points better than Firo. It's clear to see why Mega Pidgeot is used more, at least the Mega ver version. Now let's also talk about another key thing. Hurricane and the No Guard ability. Since it gets this ability, this is I've literally never seen a Pidgeot with any other ability. And why would you want to run anything like that? With its mass... Oh yeah, let's also talk about its speed real quick before I get too carried away. Maximum speed, 341. Which, I didn't even think I mentioned Pidgeot's maximum speed. I'm so sorry about that. Maximum speed for a regular Pidgeot is 331. Which is also better than Sparrow's 328 by 3 points. Doesn't matter. 3 points is still faster. But Mega Pidgeot, with only... 
investment in not in nature is 341, which is still better than 333. 331. Now let's go down to speed and why won't it click? Come on, I just clicked on it. There we go, 375. That's an, that's a very good amount of speed, especially for a flying type. And I see why this is why Pidgeot is obviously more most of the time used. And we obviously also have moves like Heat Wave and Roost, which I think all of them can get. But my point is that this is the reason why Pidgeot's used more. This is an overpowered Celt. Celt. God, my words today are just bad. And Air Slash, which you can use for the flinch game if you want to. Also, because of No Guard, that little 5% chance of missing now doesn't happen. So you can freely just spam away Air Slashes, Hurricanes, and Heat Waves all day long. And as long as you outspeed, not a lot is going to stop you, and that's why I see Mega Pidgeot being used more. But there is one minor agreement I should mention, that since you're using Mega Pidgeot, that limits Pidgeot's item sets. And I know that it doesn't have the largest amount to use to begin with, but I still like to be able to have a variety of things I can do with a Pokemon. Just one item set, eh, I'm not a fan of. But enough about Mega Pidgeot. Let's talk, get back to these two. Which one do you think is better? Because in my honest opinion, with maximum health and maximum speed, or maximum health and maximum defense for a Pidgeot, I'd say, here, let's get the bold nature up. 273 with good amounts of HP, I could see being a very good tanky bird Pokemon. Fear, on the other hand, just between these two, easily the better physical attacker. It may lack a little bit in speed compared to Pidgeot, which I don't get how that works. It's a skinny, linky bird against this giant, golden, feathered bird, and somehow this is faster. Maybe it's because of the wings. I don't know. But anyways, these both of these Pokemon are very good to use in certain situations, but as it comes down to a flying physical attacker, that's why I prefer Fero. Better attack, even though a little bit lacking on the speed. And I know it's a bit of a glass cannon, like if it doesn't outspeed, it's basically screwed. I'll mention that because that's true, but Pidgeot really isn't that much better off. It's got less attack, less, well, and actually that's all it is, is less attack, but I feel like that attack difference is a big problem, because if you want to be able to use moves such as Brave Bird, you'd have to, you, you'd be taking away bits of your tankiness, because you'd be chipping away at your own health, and if you want to try and make up for a move such as, things such as power, Items like Life Orb would also add on to this problem because, yes, you're dealing more damage, but now you're also dealing more damage to yourself. This is why I find myself using Fira more often, because even with this set, if you time it correctly, it could be an excellent late-game sweeper. If there's a tanky Pokemon that has only about a bare minimum amount of health, bring in Fira with a Drill Run. If it finishes it off and something new comes in, attack with Sky Attack. If you have the sniper ability, you feel like you're lucky, you get a critical hit, and I forgot to mention, Sky Attack also gives a 30% chance of flinch. That's as good as Iron Head. And I've been flinch stalled by Iron Head a couple times myself, so, yeah, there's that. But anyways, guys, I think that's all I need to really discuss for today. We got their stats, items, and, yeah, that's about it, abilities. That's, that's all I really need to cover in this video. Let me know down in the comments who you think is better, Fero or Pidgeot. In my opinion, without Mega Pidgeot, Fero outclasses Pidgeot slightly. I'll admit that these are very closely together, in my opinion. Because, yes, Pidgeot's a little bit weaker, but it can take more hits. Fero is stronger, but basically two hits of anything that's relatively good can knock it out. So, yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below. Also, if you feel like you enjoyed watching what we did today, why not subscribe? Share with friends. I'd love to get to know you guys a bit better down in the comments or on my Facebook and Twitter feed, which I'll leave links down below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.